The Just Coffee Cafe is a popular hangout for students, artists and intellectuals in the Kyrgyz capital, Bishkek. Outside we meet Ade Elmezbekova. She took part in the protests after the October the 4th parliamentary election that one politician called the dirtiest in Kyrgyzstan's history. Our first demand was for a rerun of the election. That's all we wanted. We had huge hope on the first day of protests. It's so sad how that day ended. I feel like I was used. Thousands of people protested in the main square before security forces moved in with tear gas and stun grenades. Hundreds of people were injured and one person was killed. By next morning, protesters had taken control of this building. It's where Parliament convenes. They'd freed political prisoners from jail. Later on, the Central Election Commission declared the results of the poll null and void and said there must be a rerun. Later, a man who only days before had been serving an 11-year jail term for kidnapping was made the country's Prime Minister. In a parliamentary session that many say was unconstitutional and makes a mockery of the rule of law. The streets and parks are calm in the autumn sunshine, but there's a growing fear that Kyrgyzstan's fragile democracy, which people have worked hard to build in two revolutions since independence after the breakup of the Soviet Union, is under threat. Every aspect of our life depends on politicians and the decisions that politicians make. I think it's the duty of every young adequate person to participate in political movements and express their civil rights. It's very important for this post-Soviet generation to realize that politics defines our quality of life. Not far from the cafe, members of the recently established Reform Party are discussing strategy for the promised rerun of the parliamentary poll. Reform was set up with money raised in an internet crowdfunding campaign three months ago. Party candidates got around 35,000 votes in the election, which would not have been enough for a seat in parliament and they say the established politicians have been corrupted by local criminal networks and are intimidated by a Russia under Vladimir Putin who fears democratic change in the post-Soviet states. As you know, the, uh, the whole television in, in, in Kyrgyzstan is mostly occupied by Russian television and people are brainwashed um, by it. If we um, uh, explain the feelings of people in Kyrgyzstan, in one word, it's, I am fed up. So they, they don't want to see old faces. They don't want to see old political like leaders. Young Kyrgyz hope the promised rerun of the election happens and is clean. But they fear the dirty tricks are being played in a strategic game again. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Bishkek.